guys, how you doing? I wanted to share some ideas with you. I know that um, obviously if we were on a Zoom call or together, um, you could ask me questions, but at least watch this video and let me know if you have any thoughts. And I would love to get together at some point, again, through Zoom or in person with masks and everything um, to talk about it. So I have several, several clients. They own a home and they would like eventually to move and buy another home. So the great news is, as you know, that the market is super hot. I mean, the inventory is very, very, very low, and that is driving the prices super high. So right now, sellers are getting top dollar for their homes. Um, of course, that is a great advantage for you as a seller, but as a buyer, that is a challenge, right? Because again, you have a low inventory and um, prices are super high. So the sellers out there that are in a situation like yours, there's four scenarios um, of possibilities that you could use. The first one is uh, to take a bridge loan. When you take a bridge loan on your existing home, the advantage of that is that you will have a lot of purchase power to go and find a home and be a very strong buyer with a very strong offer. And then once you buy that home, that new home, obviously you put your home for sale, you sell it quick, especially these days, and you pay off that bridge loan. So that will allow you to stay in your home right now, find a home that you like, buy it, and then put your home for sale and have a, a smooth move, right? The disadvantage of that is that the bridge loans, their rates are usually much, much higher than a common loan. So then you, you would have to be paying a higher um, payment for a couple of months until you, know, you complete the whole process. That's the first scenario, not my favorite, but it's out there and I wanted to make sure that you know about it. The second scenario is because the market is so hot right now, to put your house on the market right now with you still living in it. And we will tell potential buyers that you would ask for what it's called rent back. So we will ask for two months rent back for free. It's a great option for you because it will allow you to have 30 days more or less, which is what takes um, these days houses to sell from the moment you put it for sale until you cross escrow. So that's 30 days plus this extra 60 days of rent back. So a total of 90 days that you can still live in your home for free while you are looking for your next home. So then of course, we're going to start looking for the home to buy the moment that we decide to move forward with this. So that will give you, again, 90 days um, of room. And buyers these days, again, because the market is so hot and there's so low inventory, they're used to the rent back. So it's not an issue with them. That's second scenario. Third scenario is to reverse the process meaning you look first for a house that you want to buy. You don't put your house for sale on the market. So you go and try to find a house to buy. And then eventually when we find it, we make an offer contingent to the sale of your current home. The disadvantage of that, I'm sure you, you sense it already, is that uh, your, your offer is not gonna be that strong. Because again, you know, nowadays, as you know, there's buyers that are paying cash for the properties or even, you know, paying or offering 100, 200, 400 over asking price. So you coming in with a contingent offer um, to the sale of your home is not going to be too strong. But again, that's an option. That's the third option. The fourth scenario, which is the one that many, many sellers are doing these days is this. They decide to sell their home. 
they put their home on the market and they look for a property to rent. So they go and rent either for a couple of months, maybe six, maybe even a year, and they look for this property in an area that they would like to live. So the advantage of that is first, that when you put your house on the market, you're not living in it, so everything is smoother, right? The showings and we can stage the house and everything else. Two, that gives you the opportunity to sell at a very high price, pocket all that money, and not have to rush and compete in a very hot market. At the same time, you find out if you actually like living in that area. If you are renting for a couple of months or again a year, you would get to really know the area and figure out if that is the area that you wanna live or not. And by then, hopefully, the market will be more balanced and there would be more inventory out there. And also the prices will hopefully come down a little bit. So basically, you would make the most out of the house that you're selling. You're going to pocket that money. You're going to rent and get used to the new area. And eventually, when you're ready, we're going to find your home at a convenient price for you. Again, that is the option that many, many clients are taking these days. So food for thought, I thought um, I should share this with you. Again, guys, I would love to have dialogue and get together through Zoom or in person to talk a little more about it. And you know where to find me. I would love to work with you. And I know that we can make this a really, really good move for you. Have a wonderful day.